Hazemig here. Welcome to the Hayes Mega Moto channel. So I got another Suron Light B video for you guys on this guy right here, okay? So this is the uh, Suron Electronic Throttle. It's full, fully electronic throttle, okay? So uh, the newer model Surons, I think like 2020 and up, all come with this kind of, this type of throttle, okay? There's, uh, there's two types of throttles on the uh, Suron Light B. One is like kind of semi-mechanical semi-electronic um, throttle setup and then this one is like the full electronic setup okay um, yeah so I've heard about this since the beginning of the year and then LunaCycle started selling these pretty recently uh, I got this for $36 at LunaCycle you can you can very likely yeah you can very likely find these pretty much anywhere that sells Soron parts now I think okay um, these came out not too long ago. Okay, so we'll take a closer look at this guy in a second. Um, so why why would you want to change the throttle on your uh, Soron Light B, or why did why does Hayes Omega think they made this electronic throttle Soron? Um, is uh, there's more there's less things to go wrong. Okay, that's that's the beauty of this guy. A lot a lot of motorcycles come with electric electronic or a throttle by wire throttles now um, a lot of modern motorcycles old, mo old motorcycles like Hayes and Megas still still run off the good old cable <laughs> okay but uh but yeah a lot of modern electric bikes um, they run off of fly by wire or throttle by wire is what they call it okay and this is kind of similar to that okay um, and uh, it kind of eliminates eliminates all the mechanical parts so that's less stuff to fail okay now I have heard I have heard something about um, that these are actually not as good as the older throttle setup because uh, the older throttle um, the, the, the the throttle is like too sensitive they said um, it uh from what I hear it's kind of like an on-off switch so I, I will find that out when I do do a test ride on it but I wanted to just make an install video on this guy, try it out, and then decide which one I like. Um, so the, the electronic part of the throttle on the older Surons, circa 2019 and older, um, like on this bike, this is a Suron Light BMX, the, the throttle box lives right under here, right, right where my hand is pointing right now. It's on, behind the skid plate. Um, and it's kind of not it's kind of a good place to put it and a bad place to put it um, it's good because it's kind of kind of tucked up in there it's hidden it, it won't get damaged but it's under the bike that's where all the mud and water and debris you know they that's where it's more, more likely to, to get in there you know and I actually shot a, I shot a video on how to replace that throttle box um, the speed the Suron speed controller box and uh, I had it go bad on me. Like, well, I didn't. I it, technically it was in, it was still in good shape. But whenever I whenever I washed my bike, I noticed, and that little box gets wet, um, the throttle gets stuck open. Okay, um, and it, I've had it happen on multiple instances. I have done water crossing and stuff with this bike before, though, and and it seemed to be okay. So it might have something to do with. It might it might just be worn out or something. So that's that's why I wound up changing. But uh, so I I bought this just to give it a try. Um, like I said, it's less things to go wrong. It's on the it'll be on the handlebar, so its chances of getting messed up are are less greater than than down here. Like it it, it won't get gunked up with dirt and stuff. Um, you don't have to worry about uh, snapping a cable, uh, fraying a cable, breaking the end off of the cable. You know you eliminate that cable part. Okay. Because um, that does happen to throttles, you know. I've had it happen to my quad before, and it's not fun. <laughs> Pretty much, you you snap a cable, that that's it. You're done. You know, there's nothing else you can do. Uh, 
uh, shy of like, hey, get a, like, just pull on the cable, you know, if, if you've got some of the cable left, you know. So, so yeah. But that being said, the beauty of it is that um, the, the stock throttle, you can adjust it. You can adjust how loose or tight you want it, like how much slack you want. This has no adjustment at all, at least that I can see, okay? Um, yeah, so... So whichever one, which one is better? I, Hayes Omega can't. I can't. I can't say for sure. I heard that the older setup is better, but I, I can't say for sure until I try try this one out. Okay, I can tell you the original setup. It, it works pretty good, especially since I changed it. I changed it to with a brand new um, throttle box, and it it's been. Uh, I've been using it for a few weeks now, and it, it feels a lot better than the one that I replaced. So <laughs> I guess they the throttle boxes. They wear out after a while. Like I said, all that dirt and stuff, it gets up in there and then it gunks it up. Um, this, there's less chance of that happening, okay? And uh, because it's like all the mechanism parts are like on the handlebar, okay? Um, that being said, yeah, you could still probably get a stuck throttle um, if you don't have hand guards and you drop your bike, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, less things to go wrong with this, okay? You don't have to worry about cable stretching. You don't have to worry about adjusting the cable. Um, yeah, a lot less to go. A lot less to go wrong. So that that is the advantage of the full electric setup. Okay. So let's go take a closer look at this, and then uh, and then we'll go ahead and start installing it on the bike. Um, uh, on the LunaCycle website, it says it says this is not compatible with the older Sorans, but I think it is. So I guess we'll find out when Hades and Mega plugs it in. <laughs> But we'll have to remove the whole throttle setup. That's the thing. So, uh, but like I said, there's a, there'll be less stuff to go wrong. You won't have this box here. You won't have these weird cables. You'll just have this throttle and then this wire going down to where it connected. Okay. So, so uh, we'll see how that goes uh, when we do the install. All right, check out. Okay, welcome to the good old Hades Mega washing machine. So this is where I like to like do shoot all my parts kind of videos. Um, so we're going to take a closer look at this guy, the Suron electronic throttle, full electronic throttle. Okay, so it cut, uh, I got this at LunaCycle for $36, like I said. Um, pretty inexpensive. It doesn't come with the grip, okay? It comes in a plastic baggie like this from LunaCycle, and it says Suron. Suron Throttle Electric on it, okay? It's kind of hard to read because it's the thing. It says Suron Replacement Electronic Throttle Switch, okay? There you go. So let's set that aside. So you get the throttle assembly with the wire, okay? So the whole dealie. So that you get the, the twist throttle part, um, the throttle tube, and then the actual, the, I guess the, the whole sensor type thing is inside here. Okay, and then you got the wire that goes through the harness right here, okay? And then you have, uh, and then so I didn't, it um, it doesn't come with the grip, so th that's also, that's kind of like a good thing and a bad thing. You don't you don't get a grip when you buy it, so you have to buy a grip. But uh, uh, the beauty of it is you can change the grip, okay? So I know some electronic throttles out there, um, you're stuck with whatever grip is on there, you know? Um, this one, it uses a regular motorcycle twist grip, okay? Um, so, my grip of choice. Um, LunaCycle does sell grips also, by the way. I think they're like $10 or something. I had this extra Spider M1 grip, okay? this is These are the grips that I use for my bike. Spider grips, M1. I actually have a spare throttle lying around because I only replaced the, the left side, the clutch side, on my DR650, so I actually have this lying around. Uh, I'm gonna have to cut the end off because I have hand guards, so we will go do that. We'll do that when I get when we get it installed on the bike, okay? Um, so this is the grip that we will be using for it, okay? So it's so it matches my other one too. So um, yeah, all right. So cool, cool. So there it is. Um, let's take a closer look at it. This is ETS right here. I think that means electronic something switch something something switch okay and it says Suron right here okay it's kind of hard to read but it says there's your S-U-R-R-O-N Suron okay pretty cool it, it looks pretty trig you can tell they put some R&D into making this guy okay and then uh, 
because you just loosen this, you slip it onto the handlebar, and then there's the that's the wire where you got to connect it to the harness. Okay, I'm hoping it it's compatible with the older bike. We'll see. <laughs> I heard it is. So, all right. So let's go install this thing. Here's my go. All right. Hey, here's my here. So this is the uh, installation portion of the. Uh electronic the Suron electronic throttle video um, so before we can install it we gotta uninstall the one that's on the bike already so so this is gonna be for for like older Sorons that have the throttle box but if you have a newer one this should, it should pretty much be the same same uh, same story uh, except you don't have to uninstall your throttle well you do still have to uninstall the old throttle so so in a way it it does pertain to people with the newer throttles if you want to replace it with another or whatever, if something whatever happened to your your stock throttle, um, you could replace it with another one using the method I want to show you right now. My bike is a little bit different than most other people's bikes. Um, I have some deflex Tus deflex hand guards on this bad boy. Okay, that we got to take off and I got to remove. Um, so we're, you do have to remove the skid plate to get to the throttle box, but uh, the thing is. Um, I have a race spec Sauron skid plate, so it's a little bit different than everyone else's. But for the most part, the screws are they're all located in the same place, so it it just be a slightly different if you have a different skid plate. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's let's get started. Okay, so uh, I highly suggest if you do ride your Sauron off road, you get some hand guards for it. By the way. It'll protect your throttle in the event that like the bike tips over or you drop the bike for whatever reason. So that's the beauty of having these guys. I've never broken, I've never broken a brake lever or throttle on my Sauron. Okay. Um, I, that being said, I haven't really dumped it. Well, no, I guess I have dumped it a whole lot um, during races and stuff. <laughs> okay. So I need a five millimeter Allen wrench dealy to take this screw out here. So this, like I said, this will be different than like a stock bike. A stock bike will just have nothing here. So, and like I mentioned, I'm gonna have to cut my throttle open, um, the end open, so I can I can still use it. Um, okay. And let's just loosen this. down just like that okay so the next thing <laughs> to do would be to uh, loosen your throttle all the way okay so to do that you need to push this little rubber booty back all the way okay and then you need to unlock the lock the stopper nut just take it off all the way okay and then you're gonna want to screw it in all the way when you screw it in all the way it uh, it slackens the cable all the way so it'll be easy to take out on the other end, okay. Okay. I'm probably gonna want to reuse this donut too, by the way. <laughs> um, all right. So that's the next. Okay. Step. The next step is to uninstall your skid plate. So there are four screws you gotta remove. There's one, two, and the corresponding ones on the other side. Here we go. Okay, that's two. Go to the other side, and then the other two are right here. Make sure you don't lose the bolts. Okay, so, uh, and then you just uh, remove the skid plate like that, and that should just come right out, okay? Uh, if you have the stock skid plate, you're gonna have some metal kind of clips around the skid plate, all right? Okay, if you guys are wondering why it's so kind of like overcast today, that's not, those aren't clouds. That's a, oh, I'm surrounded by smoke. <laughs> so it's just a blanket of smoke all over us because the Bay Area is on fire. Okay, anyway. Um, okay, next thing to do, it would be to remove the throttle cable, okay? So I, I'm not going to turn the bike on its side quite yet, but it's, it's best to, I don't know, I guess, you know what, I'm going to see. So... Normally, so for the for the throttle box video, Hades Omega just uh, 
um, I laid the bike down on the side. That's one way you could do it. I've heard of other people flipping the bike around and just putting it on the handlebars, kind of like a bicycle. I wouldn't do that, man. It's a hundred something pounds, you know. Um, I guess you could take the battery out, you know, and make it a little lighter. But um, so I'm gonna try just like lying underneath the bike, okay? So, uh, but anyway, so I'm gonna go get down here, and I should be able to do this with one hand, okay? So what we're looking for here is right here, okay? Here's the throttle cable, okay? So you need to loosen this all the way. So you need to loosen it and then take the cable out, okay? Um, which is gonna be hard to do while I'm holding the camera. Yeah, I can't do it holding the camera. So that's why I would, that's why I would put the bike down. <laughs> Just put the bike down, and he's back. Okay, I'm just gonna put. Okay, you can, you can do it just standing up like this if you lay down on the ground. But I can't do it with the camera, unfortunately. I don't have a cam. I don't really know what um what the cameras can see. You know, um, yeah. So anyway, um, here. Okay, so before we uh, remove the throttle, uh, before I lay the bike down, I'm gonna lay the bike down now. So um. So it'll be easier to work on. I'm gonna go take the throttle assembly out already, okay? So to do that, you need a four millimeter Allen wrench, okay? I'm just gonna loosen these two bolts right here, okay? Hope I remember how it was, okay? Okay. And then I should, you should be able to slide it out. Um, we gotta take it out first because if I lay the bike down, you know what? I could lay it down on the other side. <laughs> I just forget to think about that. Why don't you just lay it down on the other side? That's a good idea. Why didn't Hades make it think of that? Anyway, let's see if we can get this out. Oh no, I can't get it out. Oh, I would have to take the handlebar out. Okay. Uh, okay, so what Hades make is gonna do is. We're gonna. I'm gonna flip the bike around, and I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna lay it down on the grass. Okay. Okay. So I've laid the bike down on this side, so you can, so we can remove the throttle. Um, yeah. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see because the freaking motor wires are there. But here's what you're gonna want to do. Is it helps if you have a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay. Probably a, a pretty long one too. And what we're gonna do is. There's a screw in the center of the cam, the, the throttle adjustment kind of wheel here, and it moves the throttle, okay? So we're gonna use that to hold the throttle open while I remove the throttle. Okay, don't don't twist it too much or else, or else oh, it'll, it'll loosen the screw. I just did. <laughs> oh, it loosened it again. Okay, hey, he's making a little trick did not work because I loosened the screw too much. Now I gotta do it by hand. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Actually, you know what? I think it's loose enough. It's, it's loose enough where you can remove the cable from the bracket now, okay? So let me see if I can do it. It's, sorry, it's so overcast. So I, I think you should be able to get the cable out if you loosen the slack all the way. Yeah, see? Okay, so all you want to do is pull it out of this little little bracket here, okay? There's a little slit there, the wire will come out. Okay, and then you should be able to remove the cable from the throttle. Let's see if I can get to, okay, there's the cable. Just remove the cable in from where it's at, okay? Boom. Okay, cable out. There it is. Very good. Okay, now, um, now while we're under here, let's take the throttle box out. Okay, so. There is a, from here, from then this is, normally I would do it the other way, okay? But from here, there's a screw right over here. Okay. You know what? You could probably, I hate to say it, man, you could just leave that in there. Okay, so Hazemeta just thought that if I just wanted to try this throttle out and I didn't want to take the throttle box out, I could just leave it in there, okay? Um, there's the throttle box right there, okay? It's a speed adjustment controller. If I wanted to leave it in there and I just wanted to just disconnect it and then plug the other one in, I could totally do that. I just realized that right now. I could leave it in there if I wanted to. But I'm going to take it out because we don't need it. So, so this just just for just for you guys is just just for demonstration purposes. Hades Mega is going to take it out, okay? Because uh, I would just leave it in. 
there's no harm in leaving it in. It just, you know, adds a few pounds to the bike. What do you do? Okay, so there's a screw right here, okay? See that screw? I'm gonna remove that screw. This is the hard one. This is the one that's hiding behind the motor, okay? I'm just gonna let it drop. Hopefully I can find it. <laughs> okay, and then there's another one on the other side down here, okay? There's only two screws. There's four holes, but there's only two screws, okay? Pretty simple. I can't, I can't seem to get to the screw, though. What's up, man? You can get in the hole. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there it is. Start loosening that. Okay, should be free. Take the throttle box out now. Oh, there's also one thing else we have to do. We have to disconnect it. Okay, so inside here is where it's connected. So we're gonna have to remove, we're gonna have to cut the zip tie again and, and disconnect it, okay? And then, and then, uh, and then throw that thing in the garbage. No, don't throw it in the garbage. I suggest you keep, <laughs> keep the old one. Keep the old one on the screws and everything, okay? Okay, so I'm going to cut the zip tie holding the shroud together here, okay? You're going to have to put another zip tie in. Stick it out like that, okay? And then it should give you access to the wire. Just go find it. It's a three, it's a three wire, um, wire type thing, okay? Just go in there and then unplug it. Um, let me see if I can get a better shot. Okay, so, uh... So just go ahead and find where that wire is connected in here, okay? And then disconnect it, okay? So this one right here. So to disconnect it, there's a little button that you gotta press. Okay, it should just come out. Boom, there you go. So just kinda fish it out of the, the wiring here, and it's free, there you go. So um, you could leave this in there if you wanted to. I, if you did leave it in there, I would suggest you tape this up. So the water and dirt and all that stuff doesn't get in there, okay? And then go find all the screws that you dropped, that I dropped. It should be here somewhere. Hopefully I'll find it. Okay, so I'm going to go stand the bike up again so we can, uh, we can fish the throttle in there, okay? Alright, here's me up. Okay, so it started to rain. It's starting to rain, actually. I'm surprised. Uh, when I work on the bike, it wants to rain. So we're gonna go uh, do the rest in the garage. That's okay. Um, all the all the stuff where the had the bike has to be on its side is is done. Okay. So this is the uh, so the next thing to do is to remove the re the remnants of the stock throttle assembly. Okay. So there's the cable here. You're gonna want to follow that cable. Okay. Or, um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna want to follow that cable. I believe, I believe it's this one. Anyway, it's the one that's connected down here, okay? This is the cable right here, okay? Um, you're going to have to pull it out from where it is, okay? It may be, in this case, it's zip-tied to this other wire here, so it's kind of hard to get out. I'm just going to pull it, pull it out, okay, there we go. Boom, came right out. Okay. I think I broke the zip tie. I was holding it. I'm just gonna take this out too. I don't really use this. Um, so my, I have a BAC 2000 controller, so it might be a little different for you guys. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to cut that zip tie. So um, if you have any zip ties holding it to the other wire, the brake wire, um, you're gonna want to cut that. Okay. Okay. That's out. Make sure the other cable's still in there. Okay, and then just kind of. Fish it out. If you're gonna put this back, remember, try to remember where it was before, okay? Uh, or actually, yeah, definitely remember where it was before because you're gonna have to, um, you're gonna have to fish the um, the other, the new throttle cable through there, okay? So I'm just gonna fish it out through this way. You can see it's coming out this way already. So I'm just gonna pull, and hopefully it just comes right out. Maybe not. He's maybe has this kind of rat's nest of wires back here, so. It's not helping. <laughs> well, I got this.
this. I got this, man. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's I got this. Okay, so here's the cable right here. You want to pull this from here. There might be a couple other zip ties holding it in. Just do your do your best trying to get the cable out. This is probably the hardest part, trying to get the old cable out. This is so much crap in the way. I don't make it super easy to replace this stuff. So if there's any kind of zip ties holding it in the way, you're gonna have to undo it or slide it out. Just do your best. Oh, try not to pull anything that's not the throttle cable, like I just did right now. Hopefully I didn't break that, whatever that wire. Oh, this rubber thing came out. Okay, and then this goes up there like that. I think, I think I can just pull it out. Okay, there we go. All right, so now it's all out. Now remember, we loosened this earlier. Let's go ahead and slide it all the way out. And boom, there you go. The old throttle is uninstalled. What is all this black stuff on my hand here? <laughs> okay, so there's the old throttle assembly. Okay, as you can see, it's a, it's a cable. It's a regular cable pull, you know, pull cable. Okay, with the throttle housing here, and then you got the rear throttle tube. That's that's, uh, that's the anatomy of it, and then there you got this little boot here to cover that. And you got an adjuster nut here. Okay, so uh, before we install it, let's go take a look at these two throttle cables or throttle assemblies. So this one here is the um, Suron semi um, semi mechanical slash electronic throttle. Okay, so. All the mechanical um, goodies are here. You get your throttle tube, throttle assembly, and then your adjuster nut here, and then your cable. And then this little booty thing to protect the, the adjuster. Okay, you got your cable here. So that pulls on this throttle box here, okay? And it pulls on the cam here, and, and then it tells how much throttle the motor to give, okay? And then this connects to the, the controller, okay? So, and here is full electronic throttle. Um, the only mechanical parts are right here when you're twisting the throttle, okay? But all, all of this, all this, the goodies that are in here that tells it how fast to go is in here now, okay? And then you just got this long piece of electrical wire going to the end there, okay? So uh, when I said it was a lot more simple, it is. So there's less stuff to break, okay? Your, cable might not, um, less chance of your cable failing or stretching, you know, you don't have the cable adjuster anymore, so you don't have to adjust the cable, um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it, and then, and then, yeah, and then this is moved from the bottom of the bike to the handlebar, okay, right here, so I feel, actually, the handlebar is probably a better place to keep it, it it'll, it'll, there's less chance of it get, getting damaged or dirty or whatever on the handlebar, in my opinion, okay, Okay, but but both of them work. Okay, um, Hayes Mega can't tell you which one is better than the other because I haven't tried the electronic one yet. So that's why I'm doing this. <laughs> as you can see, the cable, the wire is long as just as long as the cable on the other one. So it should fit. Should fit. They didn't. Uh, they didn't modify the harness on the Soran at all. They just made a different part to accommodate you know what was already on the bike. So which is good because older Sorans can run this newer throttle if they wanted to, okay? Uh, the LunaCycle website says you can't, but uh, I'm gonna find out if you can, just right now. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and install this. Hits me up. 